Hi guys, and welcome back to Island Girl Gardening. Today is May the 13th, 2022, and we are going to be harvesting our red onions today. Um, they were planted September the 6th of 2021, and we are um, going to be harvesting them today. I think Mr. Up has some words that he wants to um, say from behind the camera today. She's going to be harvesting some tomatoes, uh, to, uh, some onions today. These are red onions. And they overwintered, we overwintered them. And they're looking pretty good, so now it's time to harvest them. So she's about to harvest the, harvest the onions. Whenever she's ready. This is the first year successfully growing onions. Normally they only get about the size of a leek. But this year when we overwintered them, they seem to do it pretty a lot better than before. Actually had some nice bulbs on them. Shake a little more of the dirt off of it. Okay. So we about to harvest these and then we're gonna put them up and let them cure for a couple of weeks, I think. A nice little Size onions out here today. The sun was out, the sun went back in. Now it's looking like it's about to rain again. The fog's rolling in. You see the fog rolling in a little bit. That's a double header right there. Double one. There's a nice little harvest. We got a nice little harvest in here. Pull them up. We had to worry about going to the grocery store for any onions. Just pulling them up, shaking the dirt off of them, getting them ready. They smell so good. Ah, here's a little baby. Mmm, they smell wonderful. I love the smell of fresh onions. It smells good. It smells like onions. Well, they smell good. You get to get the true smell when you're pulling it out of your garden and you're not buying it out of the store. They don't smell like this in the store. Oh, there's a big double header right there. Look at that. What a beauty. Yes. to the side she just gonna continue to pull then we'll come back in a second when she finished pulling everything out and she's about to pull up a nice big one then just a nice single big one nice nice sized onions make a little blooming onion ah, there's another big one Oh, but I don't eat bloomers. I mean, she eat bloomers. I don't eat bloomers. <laughs> My onions gotta be fried. Can't do them raw. I love raw onions, and red ones are the best. We're back, and we have harvested the red onions. And as you can see, we got a nice little harvest here. Nice harvest of red onions. So now the next step is curing them. And we will work on that. And when we um, go to cure them, we will make a video. That way you'll see exactly um, how we cure the onions. Um, yeah, so that is our red onion harvest. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Up? No, but you can smell them. They smell them good. <laughs> so they. So now I know for next year when we plant our onions, we're going to wait till like the fall of the year and overwinter them again. And next, maybe next year we get them a little bit bigger. And we'll do some and white next, ones next year And too. next year I maybe won't plant them so deep. You plant, plant, plant them so deep because they got to gotta come above the ground. So plant them a little shallow when you plant them. 
So for now, like and subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. You got no video? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Island Girl Gardening. Today we're going to do a video on how to cure your onions once you pull them up out of your garden. So here's how we do our, our onions. We already pulled them up. There's Island Girl season in there now getting them ready and prepping them. And here's a look at what she's doing. Here she is right here. That's the Island Girl. Hello. So we, how we do ours, we, we cut them about two or three inches from the, from the onion. And then we hang them up on our rope. So we can get plenty of air, air circulation. And normally it takes between but two and four weeks to dry out, to dry to the point, you know, where you can cure them and store them. So once you, one way you can tell when they're about ready to be stored and ready is the roots. The roots on them will dry out real, real hard and crispy like. The roots will dry really, really out. So once the roots dry out real good, then you know they're ready to be stored. So look at this, look at the ones that we pulled up today out of the garden. We got a nice little harvest. Got some more down there that she's going through, cutting them up. Got the top seeds you can use as leeks or whatever if you want to use them as leeks. As scallions, I mean. So yeah, so that's just a quick look at how we do our onions, how we store them. Now we get them ready for storage. Like I said, they need plenty of air, air circulation. Like two or between two and four weeks. Get them right. Once the once the uh, roots dry out real good, you know they're ready. You ain't gotta wash, don't wash them. Let the dirt stay on them. Brush the dirt off, but you can with your hand. Don't wash them. You don't want to wash them. Let's let them uh, dry out naturally. Let's brush the dirt off. It's fine. So she in here doing her thing. I guess she ain't like the way I was tying them up. She got her own little weird time, pants the way of tying them up. But yeah, we still working on those there. <laughs> We're going to get them ready. Put in the freezer, get some away. This is our first successful year of actually get some nice sized bulbs. So we can have something to give away and share with folks and eat a few and take and dry a few of them out. Put get some we're gonna put in our dehydrator. Make some make some, make onion, some onion powder. Onion powder, definitely. Because we already ran out of onion powder, so she used a lot of it. So we're going to uh, dry a lot of them out. We might dry about half of them out, I guess. And make some onion powder out of them. Definitely. So, you got anything to say? Uh, nope. I'm just going to finish up here. And thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'm sure we'll be doing some other interesting things in the garden as... Uh, the summer starts to move in. And the garlic is going to be next. So sometime this month, we can pull our garlic up and then we can do the same thing. You know, I'm going to do the same thing, hang our garlic, like hanging out with onions to get a nice airflow. So stay tuned. Give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. And grow you some onions. Look how big those onions are. Nice big red onions. These are red onions. We grew them from bulbs. We put them in the ground like in September. Overwinter them. They seem to do better for us to overwinter them. They do, a, they do a whole lot better. So like and subscribe. Leave the thumb up. It's Island Girl Gardening. Until next time. Peace. Bye.